I want to tell you how you can take advantage of the 2023 recession so next year we're going to see the bottom of the stock market crash and the crypto crash so the concept it's very simple it's called disaster capitalism when stocks and cryptos crash that is the perfect time to buy you buy low and you sell. Hi so you know how people say that you cannot time the market so that's what the rich people tell the poor people to keep them poor in February of 2021 I publicly predicted that Bitcoin would crash 80 to 85% it has fallen 75% and we have a little bit more to go in 2021 I called the top of the stock market and we are now in a bear market so do you know how I predicted this it's because in this country in the United States of America we have central planning if you do not understand that then you need to wake up so do you know what the definition of central planning is it is an economic system in which decisions are made by a central authority rather than market participants so let me ask you a sincere question who dictates the direction of the economy the debt market the stock market the housing market you can throw in the cryptocurrency markets it's a federal reserve with their monetary policy they decide for us they they run the show if you know what they're gonna do then how could you not be able to time the markets fortunately the federal reserve is very predictable it's like a cheesy movie where you know how the story unfolds now I want you to take a look at this graph and this is so important because this is what the federal reserve Reserve is going to do in 2023 and this is how the stock market reacts history shows that after stage 3 of the Fed pivots which is when they start cutting interest rates the stock market continues to fall so the crypto market mimics the Nasdaq so I expect similar ramifications on cryptos but take a look at this so if you notice so take a look at what's different this time this time the stock market is going down leading up to stage 3 of the Fed pivots therefore you will have to recalibrate your expectations for this difference which we're going to get into more we're gonna get deeper into that in another video so let's talk about this graph what history teaches us the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates by 0.75% at each one of their meetings so 0.75 that's a lot sooner or later the Federal Reserve will have to slow down and that slow down it is expected to occur on December 14th so that would be the start of stage one of the Fed pivot which is smaller interest rate increases and I want to bring this up so there's no confusion when I explain the Fed pivot I break it up into three stages so the first stage is a slowdown and then the second is the pause and the third is the interest rate cuts so I do this to map out the timeline so you know where we are in the sequence of events so it's just easier to explain it that way so as you know the Federal Reserve they cannot continue raising interest rates forever the Federal Reserve is expected to stop raising interest rates in early 2023. When they stop raising interest rates and they take a pause that will be the start of stage 2 of the Fed pivot so the pause is expected to last for a few months and then it's just going to be a matter of time until the Federal Reserve starts cutting interest rates again when they start cutting interest rates we will be entering the stage 3 so that's stage 3 of the Fed pivots that is expected to occur in the second half of 2023. They're going to start cutting interest rates when something breaks or for fiscal reasons when stage 3 of the Fed pivot occurs history shows that the stock market will continue to go down so let me explain this the Federal Reserve is only going to cut interest rates if the economy is suffering or if capital markets become dysfunctional let's just say liquidity in the debt market the stock market crashes etc so in other words something is going to break and the Federal Reserve will have responds and try to rescue the day by cutting interest rates How However because of the lag effect the interest rate cuts will not save the situation immediately it's going to take some time therefore the economic situation will continue to degrade and the stock market will continue to go down as the Federal Reserve is cutting interest rates so that's what history shows and that is what the graph what I just showed you that's what that shows too therefore historically the bottom will be after stage. 3 of the Fed pivot it's not going to be before not at the start but after when they start cutting interest rates on November 30th Jerome Powell chair the Federal Reserve said they do not intend to crash the capital markets and he believes that we can still avoid a recession so it's up to you whether you want to believe that or not now I want you to be aware of this so you know how inflation started shooting up and it caught the Federal Reserve off guard so the same thing is expected to happen with unemployment in 2023. 
In November the U.S. economy added 263,000 jobs however Bank of America is predicting that the U.S. economy will be losing 175,000 jobs a month around March so you want to know how to make money off this situation and it's very straightforward as I said it's just a simple case of disaster capitalism it's not my fault that the economic situation is going to degrade it's not your fault either and if you or I make money off the situation because we're smart enough to anticipate this then what is wrong with that now I'll donate some money to charity I'll plant some trees and I encourage you to do the same thing so here's what I'm doing personally this is a piece of my playbook so I've built up my reserve funds to strike when the opportunity presents itself when it's optimal so right now I have money on standby ready to go when economic conditions get worse but I'm not going to continue hoarding cash beyond that point to unhealthy levels with any surplus money I am accumulating various stocks and assets and silver is one of them so I'm going to tell you why it is the perfect storm for silver in a good way it's the absolute perfect setup I'm going to give you five reasons why so reason number one is that it is a store of value silver is a store of value it is a hedge against monetary inflation that means that the Federal Reserve and central banks continue printing money they go back to their old ways they're just printing money like crazy then silver is going to be a very good way to protect yourself reason number two is that silver is powering the green revolution so whether you like it or not whether you agree or disagree agree we are going green this means more electric vehicles and more solar panels and guess what you need to make evs and solar panels that requires silver so if you didn't know silver is the best natural conductor of electricity and heat it has the highest thermal and electrical conductivity so this is not a science lesson so all you need to know is that demand for solar panels and electric vehicles is accelerating and it will continue to increase for the next decade that means that we're going to need more silver your average internal combustion engine has about 25 grams of silver your average battery electric vehicle has about 50 grams of silver so we're talking about double additionally you need silver to build out charging stations so if you want to talk solar an average solar panel has about 20 grams of silver solar demand is expected to continue growing at 30 plus percent each year so we're going to need more silver reason number three and a lot of people don't know this is that silver has widespread industrial applications and demand is rising you need silver in electronics and batteries semiconductors and alloys countries are investing in 5g infrastructure and that infrastructure it requires silver our electronics are getting smarter and we need more smart chips so for example autonomous driving will lead to higher vehicle complexity and that will require more silver consumption and my point number four is that we are witnessing growing demands for silver however the supply of silver silver production will not keep up so take a look at the supply demand and balance this is coming from metals focus this year in 2022 silver supply will grow by 2% this is clearly not keeping up with silver demand growing at 16% so the majority of that easy to mine silver that's gone it's been depleted silver is not primarily produced as a byproduct of non-precious metals mine silver production will finish off the year increasing by 1% this increase in output is coming from Mexico however it's being offset by declining silver production in Peru China and Russia so listen the investing thesis it's very simple there's going to be more demand than there is supply and when that happens the price is going to go up in addition getting to my point number five the US dollar will weaken I said this before it is inevitable this will give an additional boost to most commodities including silver the dollar will weaken because sooner or later most so most likely in 2000 2023 the Federal Reserve will go back to cutting interest rates and quantitative easing and I'll tell you this do you know what the icing on the cake is it's that the price of silver has still not skyrocketed yet so here's a 20 year chart of the price of silver it's currently at 23 an ounce at these prices I am accumulating silver for the long term so I'm looking to sell my silver when people realize that we have a problematic supply demand deficit when the dollar weakens and it's the perfect storm the perfect time to sell and I just want to to say this I'm not selling anything I'm not trying to I'm not getting anything out of this I'm going to say this part for your benefits so just so you know if you want to invest in silver you don't need to buy the actual physical silver you can but you 
don't need to so you can buy it you can buy silver on the stock market just like you buy a stock so I'm personally because this is why I'm saying because I'm personally doing this I'm buying the silver ETF it's the ticker symbol the ticker symbol is SLV I'm not trying to manipulate the price of SLV it's a multi-billion dollar ETF and it's silver for crying out loud so it's for those reasons I believe that silver is just one of many investments that will outperform if you like this investing thesis if you like this practical down to earth style then I encourage you to please check out my patron we have exclusive content there I'm just trying to help people out thank you so much for all the support please subscribe and